In this video lesson, we shall discuss about the basic Swing GUI components, that is graphical user interface components. In the previous lessons, we discussed about the graphical user interface. With the help of the graphical user interface, it is very easy to interact with the computer application. So now let us start with the Swing. To create a Java program, with a graphical user interface, we have to learn about the Swing. The Swing toolkit, basically Swing is a toolkit that includes a rich set of components for building graphical user interfaces and adding interactivity to Java applications. Swing includes all the components we expect from a modern toolkit. It contains table controls, list controls, tree controls, buttons, labels, checkboxes, radio buttons, lists, combo boxes, etc. Swing includes rich undo support, a highly customizable text package, integrated internationalization and accessibility support. Swing is part of the Java Foundation classes. The JFC also includes other features important to a GUI program such as the ability to add rich graphics functionality and the ability to create a program that can work in different languages and by users with different input devices. Here we have taken an example. This is a snapshot of a Java application. We have used different controls here. These controls are very common in a Windows application, in a graphical user interface. So here we shall learn about these controls. These controls are having their own properties, own characteristics and so on. This is a brief introduction. So first of all we have here two controls where first name and last names are displayed. It is called J label, an area where uneditable text or icon can be displayed. And usually these controls display information about other controls. In this example, these two rectangular boxes. Here the user has to input the first name and the last name. So user shall input the first name in this first rectangular box and the last name in the second rectangular box. Basically, these boxes are known as the J text fields, an area in which the user inputs data from the keyboard. The area can also display some information. So we have two controls here. These are the labels and these are the J text fields. Now let, let us discuss about this particular control. It's a J list control. In the J list control, number of options are selected, uh, number of options are given and the user may select the appropriate option. It's an area where a list of items is displayed from which the user can make a selection by clicking once on any element in the list and it is called as the J list control. Now we have J check boxes, a GUI component that is either selected or not selected. We can have multiple, we can group multiple J check boxes and the user can select any number of J check boxes out of the given J check boxes. When the user clicks on this one, it gets selected and if the again user clicks on this option, then it gets deselected means selection is omitted. Now one more control that we call a J combo box. It is a drop down list of items from which the user can make a selection by clicking an item in the list. The difference between the J list control and the J combo box control is that in case of J list control the user the options available are displayed 
by default but in case of j combo control the options that are the part of uh, the j combo control they are not displayed by default the user has to click on this uh, j combo control and then the options are displayed user may select the appropriate option and it may be used in the application now one more control that we call the j radio button j radio button is a control from where the user may select the given options usually we find that two or more than two uh, two or more than two uh, radio buttons j radio buttons are combined together and the users may select any one option out of the given radio buttons here in this example if we select the first option then other options are not selected and if the first option is selected then again we click on the second option then first option is deselected means the selection is omitted from the first option and uh, the second option gets selected so two more controls okay the difference between the j check boxes and the j radio buttons is that in case of j check boxes user can select any number of options given but in case of j radio buttons one and only one option may be selected now two more controls are displayed here that we call the j buttons basically j buttons this is an area that triggers an event when clicked we, sh we shall discuss about the events uh, later in the in other video lessons and that's a brief introduction to the basic swing controls in the next example we shall design a java program where we shall use some basic swing controls